Hi there, Sonia Ash here. Today I want to show you how to use our Fireball Explosion 4 foot by 8 foot team banner. Now this is a very large file. You will note down here that once it's, once it's opened, it's about a gig and a half. So uh, things will take a little bit longer to render, but trust me, it's well worth the wait. So the first thing you want to do is, even before you open your template, is you want to install your fonts. Okay. So we've got two fonts we're using here. The first one is Butch and Sundance. That's this thicker font here. And the thin black text is Steelfish. You can find both of these fonts free on dafont.com. So download those and get them installed and then open up your template. So the next thing you want to do is you want to um, click on step one. This is where you're going to put your cutout photo. Now I've already cut my photo out to save a little bit of time. So here's my cutout photo. What I want to do is I want to drag this over with my pointer tool. I'm going to click here. I'm going to drag it up to my banner tab and then I'm going to bring it down to the canvas and I'm going to drop it in. Okay, now you can see their feet. I have cut some corners here because I knew that those feet were not going to be visible in this banner. So that's my little secret. Let's keep that. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to size this. Okay, so we want to increase the size on this. So we're going to go edit, transform, scale. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on this little lock layer, or it's a link rather. What it's going to do is it's going to make sure that you scale your image proportionally. So that means I can grab any one of these four corners and I can increase it by simply, by simply pulling up on one of the corners and it's not going to distort my image. Okay, So I like that right about there and hit enter on your keyboard and that will lock that in place for you. Now <clears throat> the next thing we want to do is we want to um, come up and we want to edit the text. Okay. Now you can see, as I said before, this is a fairly large image and it is taking a little bit of time, even on my beefy computer here, to render. And we're just about done there. Okay. So now we're going to come up to our text layer. So let's double click on the text. And you can go in and you can edit your text here. Okay. I'm going to put an extra space in the middle here. That's going to go right there. Okay. Two spaces. All right. Now, one thing I want to talk to you about on this text is we've got an effect on this text, um, which puts this fireball in your text. Now, you can adjust that. So we're going to double click on the effects of our layer of our text layer. It's going to bring up your your uh, blending mode palette. If you click on uh, pattern overlay, it's going to give you all of your options over here. And you can see that I've got a transparent fireball that I've put in here as a pattern. Now if you click on that fireball and then you come up here and you can move it around inside your text. Okay, so you can you can customize that um, to fit in your text exactly the way you want it. You can even increase the size of it. So let's say I want to scale it up to 200%. Now I've got a pretty big fireball, and I can move that around any way I'd like so that it fits perfectly inside your text. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that. And the next thing we'll do is we'll edit the second text in the middle, in black letters. Okay, and that is also. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and with my pointer tool here, I'll move my text and make sure it's right about where I want it. Okay. Now you have another option here um, of adjusting these fireballs. There's three fireballs. You've got one on the left, 
and with your pointer tool selected you can move that anywhere you'd like so you can again adjust that however suits your composition best um, and you can do the same with the other two okay but I think that looks pretty good right there and the last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that all of our important items fit within um, our guidelines. So I'm going to turn on this printing guide, okay? And this is going to give you a bright green guide here. What it's showing you is where the grommets on your banner are going to be placed. So you'll want to make sure that there's nothing really important there. And then um, just keep everything else inside this dotted line and you're all set. And once you're happy with that, you turn that off and you save this out as a JPEG flattened file for your printer. And that's it.